Nothing speaks more Western than having a BB gun. That actually shows that you are part of the Western culture. So what I like the most about this is the bell over here. It looks like clear. It looks like this thing that spins around. Unfortunately, this one doesn't because it's a BB gun. That being said, it has everything you need in an actual BB gun. It sounds like the real deal and it looks real as well. It is fun for you to go ahead and play with too. For target shooting and holding it. You can hold this in one hand, you can hold this in two hands. Look how nice this thing actually looks. And above all, the quality of this material is really good. So we have all the metal on the top, the plastic a little bit over here on the bottom. But this is all strategically placed to make this an awesome BB gun. So you can see over here how it actually looks like very close and personal. Take a look at the barrel over here, how it actually looks very up close here. So this one gives you a lot of things that are pretty much fun. But above all, this part over here, you can actually put a laser pointer or some other accessory right on the bottom over here, which is really cool, by the way. On the other side, you can see over here how it looks like. In case you want to see how it looks like, they're both black on both actual sides over here. The bell over here, this is what's going to be actually spinning as it shoots the different BBs or pellets over here. It also has a safety feature right here as you push in it. It's not going to prevent it from shooting, but if you put it all the way in, it's going to prevent it from actually hitting the trigger so this thing is not gonna go ahead and shoot so that's an added safety feature just in case you're storing it up so this is the vigilante bb gun and there was a few things that you can use for it it is interchangeable gun that can do both pellets and bbs all combined which is pretty unusual given most bbs actually just shoot bbs not both pellets and bbs it has an instruction manual that comes with it. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you all the details how to operate this thing. So let's go ahead and show you everything you need to know about. So first thing you need to get is some kind of 0.77 caliber, either a pellet or a BB. I prefer pellets because they don't bounce back when you hit the target. The next thing you're gonna be doing is you're going to be picking the correct one to put this in which is this one over here this is for pellets so now you have to understand that the pellets themselves you see this thing right here that is the sticky groovy thing this is going to go face this way because it's going to go face this way the ammo is going to be shooting that way and because of it it has to the round thing is going to go inside here and you're going to be putting them in just like this don't put this backwards or you're going to have trouble shooting this next thing you're going to be doing is just loading this whole thing up the correct way inside here every single one just put this in this is one of the reasons having more than one bell is good for you because then you can go ahead and interchange and put them in so after you stick all of those inside here your next step is going to be to remove the barrel and include the ammo and put it inside. To do this, all you have to do is to press this button over here, but you're going to be pressing it and pushing it down. It's going to take you a little bit of force to push this down. Next thing you're going to be doing is grabbing this like this, and you're going to be pushing it all the way to the bottom. So moving it like this, do not touch the trigger be doing it and just opening this up just like this after you do this this point is going to go this way but first you're going to be sticking it right on the bell just like that and there it's loaded now you have to press this all the way down if you're going to be shooting then press the trigger and it's going to shoot let me show you how it's going to go ahead and do that that's how you're going to be shooting it now the next thing you want to do is to put in the actual CO2 cartridge, which is not included as well. So what you have to do is to go ahead and use your fingernails to open this up just a little bit right here. And it's actually much easier to open it on this side for some unknown reason. So just right there, we open one side. 
Now you want to open both sides for you to get this working. So you're opening one side, you're going to be moving the same thing just down and it opens up. Next step for you to do is to move this all the way out just like this. Then this one, this thing, you have to put some kind of liquid on here. I prefer some kind of oil ornament right here. You just put a little bit of this, put it right on the top here, and then we're going to be sticking it to make sure it goes in just like this. There, see. And then you're going to be moving this until you hear the puncture sound, which I'm not going to do at the moment because I want to show you the rest of the things about this. So when you're done, you're going to be hearing the puncture sound and then you're uh, going to close it like this and put everything else inside here. So let me remove this for you and put this right back how it was. So I can show you the other cool features of this BB gun. So putting this back in, what you have to do is just to stick it just like this. And you hear the sound, which is, means it's loaded. There's also a safety feature that exists over here. This one over there. And you have to push this to fire. Pretty much when you push it in, it's going to prevent this from actually releasing the trigger. You see right now it is safe meaning it's not going to be able to shoot this. Now it's shooting. You hear that? There is a shooting sound. But if you push this in, now the safety is on. And it's not shooting in one of them. So one of them is shooting, the other one is not. Now you see it's going to bang on this, it's going to actually shoot because it's going to hit it, going to hit the trigger thing, CO2 is going to shoot it. Another hand, you see right here, that's what you want. You want it to shoot like this. This way it stops it from hitting the barrel, so it's not going to be shooting it. It's a little confusing over here, but push is to fire. So right now, safety is in push for safe, for file, you're going to be pressing it and this is going to be right, that means it can file right there, see now it's on to be shooting, let's turn the safety on, not much of a safety but it is a safety nevertheless. Now the whole entire gun here feels pretty good, feels very solid, you have the scope over here and you can see it right there with you have to actually and both of them is you're going to be shooting it all together it is well made it is well constructed it looks very western i like the design it looks almost as if it's real i do suggest that if you do want to get this get into bb guns have fun with it and so on this is probably a fun toy very affordable and also very cool so rating wise what do i put this thing well for the price and for the money you're getting a very good bb gun over here and what you get here is something that you can use and you can go ahead and shoot and practice target shooting so all about this is the weight the price the efficiency and the target shooting all combined including all the features that you get with this make it a very realistic and yet fun bb shooter I recommend it for you to get and I think 9 out of 10 stars because it's simple really for you to use and of course if you want to close and open it it's pretty easy for you to do that by opening it up you have you do have to have two hands for you to go ahead and switch the bow and put another one in here and going ahead and closing it up and start having fun by target shooting